our latest uh, marine gas turbine, the, the MT30, uh, is based on the, the very latest uh, aero technology. So it's actually derived from the, the AeroTrend 800 gas turbine. Uh, so this engine weighs a mere six and a half tons in terms of mass, and yet it develops up to 40 megawatts of power. So, so that really is, and it really is the world's most power dense, you know, marine gas turbine. Um, so as well as having very high levels of, of power, uh, it has a very small uh, package or, or acoustic enclosure. So you know the, the power density is truly you know class leading. Uh, the thermal efficiency again is is very high, uh, approaching that of a, a diesel engine, uh, and it has a very long time between overhaul, up to 25,000 hours between main overhaul. Uh, so it's a very cost-effective solution for, for high-performance warships. Key customers for, for our latest engine, the MT30 marine gas turbine, uh, include the, the, uh, both the US Navy uh, and also the UK Royal Navy, and more recently also the, the Republic of Korea Navy. Uh, so we've now got this engine on five different programs, and of course we're, we're bidding into more uh, programs all the time, so we're currently bidding to a couple of European warship programs as well. So it's a busy old time actually. The way we respond to our customers, of course, is to, to listen, uh, you know, to, to meet with them as often as we can, uh, to understand their needs, what they're trying to achieve from a new uh, project or, or warship program, um, and then we'll, you know, look look at how we can best develop solutions that meet their needs, both in terms of ship design uh, and also the all important operational aspects, uh, and also the the support solutions as well. So we we really think across the whole project lifecycle. Uh, and trying to develop a, what we would call a, an optimised solution uh, to, to meet all of their needs, including, uh, of course, the all-important affordability and life cycle cost.